The Duckabush Estuary is where fresh water of the Duckabush River mixes with salt water of Hood Canal. Estuaries provide vital habitat for fish, migratory birds, and other wildlife. Located just south of Brennan, Washington, the Duckabush Estuary contains salt marshes, eelgrass beds, and large mud and gravel flats. The importance of this habitat cannot be understated. This estuary, like others in Puget Sound, provides a place for young salmon to feed, rest, and adapt as they transition to the saltwater stage of their life cycle. This essential process increases a salmon's chances for survival in the ocean and for the eventual return to their native river. Several species of salmon and trout call the Duckabush River home. Of these, Hood Canal Summer Chum, Puget Sound Chinook, and Puget Sound Steelhead are listed on the Endangered Species Act. Unfortunately, a significant amount of estuaries throughout Puget Sound have been altered or destroyed, reducing the amount of viable habitat for these threatened species. This is evident in Hood Canal, where Highway 101 parallels the western shore for nearly 30 miles, crossing every river in its path, including the Duckabush. When Highway 101 was built across the Duckabush estuary in 1934, a wall of fill reaching 12 feet high was put in place. This fill bisects the entire estuary, leaving only two small constrained channels. This man-made barrier to the estuary's historic channels has negatively altered how sediment, water, and fish interact in the estuary. The highway also acts as a barrier to the passage of elk and other wildlife. During high river flows, the highway is a bottleneck to the drainage of the Duckabush River, causing backwater flooding upstream of the highway. However, Highway 101 is an important transportation corridor connecting the Olympic Peninsula with the rest of the state, but it is aging and cannot easily be modified to accommodate dynamic river conditions that threaten the infrastructure. In addition, the lack of shoulders on the two bridges creates difficult conditions for pedestrians, cyclists, and traffic flow. It's unlikely a century ago that anyone could imagine the environmental impact such a structure would create or fully understand the critical role estuaries play in the salmon life cycle. To address these many challenges, the Washington Department of Fish and Wildlife, in collaboration with the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers and the Hood Canal Salmon Enhancement Group, are proposing to restore the Duckabush estuary. To do this, U.S. Highway 101 will be realigned slightly upstream of its current route. Traffic will continue using the existing Highway 101 throughout the construction of the new highway and access to Duckabush Road will be maintained. When the new U.S. Highway 101 alignment is ready for use, traffic will be shifted to it and then the old highway, bridges, and levees will be removed. The new bridge will have five-foot wide shoulders and a redesigned intersection at Duckabush Road with a left turn lane from northbound Highway 101 onto Duckabush Road. Public parking at both ends of the bridge will allow access to the Duckabush Wildlife Area. Runoff from the new highway will be collected and treated at each end of the bridge to protect water quality. During high river flow events, the estuary spanning bridge will allow water to pass freely, no longer acting as a dam and causing backwater flooding upstream. Finally, the historical estuary channels will be excavated and reconnected. Once complete, new salt-tolerant vegetation will recolonize the area. This new vegetation will help keep water temperatures low and create more productive habitat for young fish. Channels will crisscross the estuary again and new ones will form as the tides and river flows reshape the landscape beneath the elevated highway. 
Fish will use the newly restored channels to rest and feed, and elk and other wildlife will be able to pass under the new highway. Restoring the Duckabush estuary is a much needed step in reaching recovery targets for threatened Hood Canal summer chum. Their population, once at dangerously low levels, is on the verge of a recovery. Delisting summer chum could be a national success story, highlighting how investments in habitat restoration and sustainable fisheries management can effectively recover salmon populations. This recovery may lead to better fishing opportunities for anglers and tribes, and could also increase prey availability for endangered southern resident killer whales. A unique opportunity exists at the Duckabush Estuary to address legacy environmental impacts, an opportunity that is hard to find in other Puget Sound estuaries. We have a chance to embrace bold actions and create lasting benefits to the environment, the community, and beyond. For more information on the project, visit the Duckabush page on the WDFW website.